Welcome to Codex. Okay, it's great. Today we'll be teaching y'all how to work with an RDP. And it's very simple. It only seems complicated on the top because of how it sounds. And whenever I first started working with it, I thought it was going to be worse. But the simplest things you're going to need is the download for the RDP itself, or RDC. You're going to need to create a new Microsoft account because it is going to have to run on your computer as a second user. Uh, and then this will get to this after we get about halfway in there. All right. After you create your new Microsoft account right in here and you set it all up and you verify it and all that, you're going to come over here and you're going to download RDP wrap 1.6.2.0. You're going to want this file. This will be your, this file will be your best friend. This file will then be put in a folder after you extract it. And I will create a little note. It might show up as a virus. It is not a virus. It's just how the licensing is. Uh, and then after you do that, you're going to want to put in a folder and then run the install. After that's all set up, you might see a couple errors. Uh, so when you get to this point, after you've downloaded everything, everything's extracted, everything's in this file here, you're going to want to run your RDP conf, and you're going to want to enable it, prob preferably as an administrator. Um, it'll just run a lot simpler that way. Uh, then you have this right here. Now this is going to tell you what you can do. This right here. And this right here are two very important things. This may say, if you if everything's just fine, your computer's going to work just grand. It may say listening or not listening. Fully supported, this is what you want it to look like. If it doesn't look like this, let me quickly close out of this. You're going to want to go into your program files. Let me just grab those. You're going to go through your program files until you reach to the RDP wrapper. Then you're going to go in here, and then you're going to see this right here. This file is going to be outdated. It's going to be the one that comes with the RDP wrapper. The other link in the description, which is going to lead you to this page, the RDP wrap.ini, you're going to want to download this, and then you're going to want to come to this file. You will not be able to put it in this file, and you will not be able to delete this. You have to do one more thing first. You have to come down here to your system. You want to open that. Uh, let me make sure it's on the right thing. Actually, I was wrong. Come in here. Gotta find it. Give me one second. Okay, I found it. You're going to want to go right down here. Go to services. And pull this up. This is going to be a very long file. You're going to come down here till you see RDP wrap. Right, this one right here. And you're going to want to stop it with this button right here. After you do that, you're going to delete this file and put in the new file that you downloaded from the third link. That is going to be perfect, and then you start this right here. You click this, and then you're going to press start. Everything should be good then. And whenever you next open up your thing, your conference right here. Of course, run it as administrator, mind the issue. And then it'll come up as listening and fully supported. Now, this is a mild turning point. Um... You may have an issue depending on your version of Windows. You're going to want to come down here and type Winver, and this will tell you what version you run. I run Windows 11 Home, which is the bad version, which means you're going to have to create a local user. However, after doing all that, it should just be fine to log in over there. Um, you don't have to create a new user because it won't let you. One thing you might have to do is go into your settings and find your 
where is it? Remote desktop. And this here, you're going to have to make sure it's enabled if you can enable it. And then from here, you're able to set up a user. But um, my version doesn't let me. So after you do this file, it should just bypass it. Beyond that, everything should be working perfectly fine. You made a new user. You have your download. You have your INI file. Finally, you can start to run the remote desktop which is where this one comes in. This thing right here is your remote desktop. I personally have it currently running with um, Tiny Task just to use my alt. And this has just been going continuously for I don't know how long. Of course, whenever you open your page, it's going to have you log in with your new user. From there, you're going to have to either reinstall Roblox on there and Tiny Task because it will not come with it. Some things from your computer will stay, like different games that are perma, like directly installed. Roblox is a browser install, so you're going to have to re-download it. And then all you have to do, find the game you want to work with, with a macro, and voila, set up. If there's any issues with anything I've described, I want you to please put it in the comments because I will get to it. Please, please, please. Let me put this back over here. Okay. So. All right. I guess there's one more thing that you should have. Where is it? Is it this one? So uh, your desktop IP, you're gonna want to keep. You're gonna keep this number because whenever you do launch your uh, RDP, you're going to use this number to connect to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close that, and then you're gonna find RD, the remote desktop connection, which is this thing right here in your computer, and from there that's what you use for your code. And then all you have to do is log in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me any comments or tell me any questions in the comments or on Discord if there's any issues and I will help you. There's also a Discord link that I will put for the sponsor and a Discord link for the uh, the uh, troubleshooting server for the RDP. From there, like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.